A few months ago, we tried to spin a roller skate wheel at 45,000 RPM to achieve maximum stretch, but the wheels were the Walmart special, so it didn't really work. This time, we spared no expense and even put fiberglass on the wheels to reinforce them. We were awarded with sweet, sweet vindication and a very, very stretched wheel, and a few close calls with old bony hands himself. We want to see if we can break our all-time record of 45,000 RPM. So we have here a tachometer to read how fast the wheel's going. I'm gonna hide right here and try not to get hit by an exploding skateboard wheel. We also don't know if you noticed, but last time we actually bent this out of place and broke our jet. <gasps> so we are going to fully be using the shield 100% of the time, because that really sucked. Okay, that hit our standard of, hey, 45,000 RPM, pretty much. Right. Now the inner part Whoa. smacks the left side and then the top. Cruise. And it made that new dent on the top. Oh and the God. left side. The slow-mo footage on the first wheel was bad, so we adjusted the camera for the next shots. But you have to deal with the dookie footage on this one. I purposefully got a very hard skateboard wheel and a softer roller skate wheel. You can see this is 85A. This was about 99A. And the ones from Walmart are mystery hardness. So we'll see. Judging on how easily they dented. Those are so bad, there's already rocks stuck in them. They're probably not very hard. Remember Christian for our last video? Probably not. We're also going to be cutting one of his Meccano sets in half so we can get him to 5,000 subscribers. Oh uh, yeah! Ah. Twenty thousand. Let's check the slow mo. See if I had it in the right spot. <laughs> Oh yeah, I kind of missed with the laser. But do you see that? Oh yeah, the fiberglass just goes flying. The fiberglass is what broke. But the fiberglass did help. It did help. It did actually hold on to the wheel better. Oh, thanks, cameraman Dan. <laughs> Look at the bearings just there without the wheel. So sad. And then this guy is split in half. This is the same low quality wheel we were seeing earlier. That's like two parts. So onto the higher quality wheel. Another quick note from now on, we're going to be using higher quality bearings. So they spin faster. Hopefully that'll give us a higher number. Now, if you're sad this skateboard had a premature demise, you can rest assured we shredded the gnar on it before we cut it in half. It's a good thing I wore steel toes today. Cats, even. Yeah, you know, I actually was featured in the, uh, the last Dew Tour. Oh. You're this close. I was that close. Almost hit you, Daniel. Really? It almost hit you. Oh, I, I had a near death experience. Look at that. That worked so good. Oh, wow. There's a little channel of where it hit. You can definitely tell it's eroding away, but it completely blew in half. And it didn't break our jet, thank goodness. Show it 30,000 RPM on that one. That's what we get for buying plastic trucks. Oh my god. <laughs> Where'd the truck go? It has the other wheel on it. <laughs> Wait, why is that not in slow mo? Somebody's for gore. I'm out of for gore. I have found the truck. In the jet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we saved the bearings in the wheel. Ah! I ripped his arm off. Relax, Dan.
We have here a cool Meccano set. Meccano what this man is? here. What, what, what is Meccano? Americans know it as a Rector set, but okay. overseas they know it as Meccano. Really popular throughout the early 1900s. After the wars, they stopped manufacturing pieces because it was too expensive. Right, give us a rundown. It's got a motor here. This is your standard Meccano lawnmower. It turns on just like a real lawnmower would. There's a spinning blade. Normally it drives, right? It just- uh... Yeah, so normally there's a rubber band that goes from the motor over to the wheels. But I took that off so that it doesn't drive off the plank and go into the water. Smart. We're smart thinkers here. We use our brain around these parts sometimes. A little, sometimes, bit. A little sometimes. bit. Yeah. It's not an original model. It's out of the book, which is why it needs to be destroyed. Good point. Uh, we're going to turn it on because that's fun. Up the track again. No! <laughs> Wait, it did blow up. It was completely detached. This is what, as we cover the track, all four edges blew up. So, first things first, the fiberglass explodes. Oh, that's that first one. And then got the out. second one went. Boom. Oh, then it started hitting the metal. Yeah, because, because it, it moved the entire thing. Right there on the ground. That's the wheel. Very similar result with the wheel there. Blew up and a nice score in it. But there was an initial crack of the fiberglass holding on to the wheel. Indeed. Don't stand up on the first crack. Watch your crack. I realized if I'd attached Dad's head, I could vlog with this. Okay, so the track completely blew up, but we drilled four new holes in it. And we're gonna screw it in. And Nate is pumped about it. We are burning through ball bearings like it ain't no thing. All right, time to find out if the softer wheel will be faster or slower before blowing up. Oh, I blew up the skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. Oh, where'd the wheel go? Oh, it's right there. Give me your hand, Dan. Oh, there she is. Oh man, look, that ripped in half like a high quality. Oh, it's all rubber. No wonder it works so well. Yeah, I, I paid the big bucks. We paid for this the one. big bucks, you know. Gators or bladers? Just, oh. oh. Oh, that got huge. It got oh. massive, and then, like, look at the skateboard just die. The skateboard just. Oh, wow. <sighs> 21. That's probably the best one yet, to be honest. I, I agree. Like that was, that's the biggest I've ever seen it. And I've seen some big wheels. So we've seen some wheels in our time. Wally the water jet approves. Or, or maybe it's Walter. Drop a name for the water jet down in the comments. Bonus points if it starts with a W. Winnipeg. Or maybe it's a girl. <laughs> Whitney. Whitney. <laughs> Whitney the water jet. Whitney the water jet. <laughs> okay, so that's the battery pack. Time for the big reveal. Oh, the axle is still holding up. Oh, the blade. Oh, the wheel came off. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, this guy. Pretty neat. Oh, it cut those screws right in half. Look at the screws. Oh, <laughs> wow. Nice cross section of a that's screw. Cool. There's a little bit of a better look at the motor. That's a, an electromagnet, right? Yes, it is. Engineering 101. That looks like a cool mask that you would wear if you had no friends. <laughs> <laughs> He, he bay played, bay played, let it rip. But then we heard it smack over here, so it definitely came off the jet. 
It sounded like it hit a piece of metal, like that piece of metal. Ah! Yep, it's right there. No way. <laughs> the non-exploded one. That's hilarious. It came over here and used this like a ramp. <laughs> oh, the memory's only showing 21,000, so we didn't break our record. It's all right, it's all right. Let's watch this vid. Oh, there's a fiberglass. Oh, and it, oh, that almost hit my head. It did, and then it just took off. It just... Well, we didn't beat our record, but we watched some silly explosions, and so that's what it's all about. I think we had the best explosion of all time. True second that. If you want to see what happened when we did it the first time, click here. If you want to see what YouTube wants you to watch, click here. Up, up, up. Click here. And if you want to subscribe, click his face.